eyes are contained. It scared me. Scared you? Maybe I should say it excited me. You were everything I thought a woman should be. Beautiful, elegant. Richard, are you teasing me? I wanted to hold you there for a second. I bet you would have fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't faint. But I had never in my life felt so alive. And I still feel that way, Richard. Hello, Miss Lovejoy. I said, what are you doing here? Sis and I, we're just going to have breakfast together. Oh. Sissy? Sissina! You don't have to scream. I'm right here. Excuse us, Tommy. I'll split. No. You will have to excuse us, Tommy. Come on, we'll ride down to Ernie's place. No, look, I have to straighten out Caroline. She's acting like she's my mother. Let me hip you, baby. She's acting like she's your father. Call me later. Caroline! Caroline! I want to talk to you. You have broken my house rule. I have told you not to have that boy in this house when I'm not here. I am not a baby. First of if all, you... you lied, sissy. You said you couldn't go to church because you didn't feel well, knowing full well that you had invited that little nobody to come in here. Caroline, are you out of your mind? I'm 20 years old. I have a right to have someone come see me. And this is Papa's house. He left it to all of us. But as long as I buy the food, and as long as I pay the bills, I will say how this house will run. Tommy, go. Hello, sister. I can't believe it. Believe it? What are you doing here, Frida? Well, you know what Mama always said. That you could always go home when you had no place else to go. Didn't you get my telegram? No. I bet this is it. I know I sent it. Hi. Oh, Caroline. This is my son, Danny. Hi, Caroline. How you doing? Hello, Daniel. Mm. I haven't even seen a photo of you since you were four years old. Frida, if Papa could have seen him, he would have gotten up out of that wheelchair and walked. Daniel, his only grandson. And Papa never understood why you didn't bring him home to visit. Look, I tried. I, I couldn't, but I, I tried. Well, we're here now, aren't we? 
Wow! That's your short? A Chevy? 57, right, Caroline? That's right. That's a Chevrolet. 1957. And I am not Caroline. What a fuck? No, no, no. To my peers, I am Caroline. But to you, Daniel, I am your Aunt Caroline. Come on, big man. Let's get the bags inside. Born here, Mona? Yes, baby. This is our home. What floor? Where's our apartment? We don't live in an apartment anymore. We live in this house. The whole house? Mm-hmm. Wow. You <laughs> must be rich. No, not really. They used to call Papa the wealthy colored man who lived in the big white house, right? Well, nobody gave it to him. He worked hard for it. Don't I know it? Don't we all know it? the same old portrait of Papa on the mantelpiece. I'm going to the rink, Caroline. Sissy, say hello to your sister. Frida. <laughs> and this is her son, Danny. Danny! So you're Danny. Well, in Detroit, they call me uh, Danny the Dude. Oh, well, I'll just call you Danny, okay? I didn't know I had a nephew this big. Almost 12. Really? <laughs> well, I'll get the rooms ready. Come, Sissy, help me with this luggage. Oh, Caroline, give me a chance. Let me volunteer myself. Uh, we can handle it. Danny's strong, aren't you? Come on, help us with the bags. Oh, Mom, give me a chance. Let me volunteer myself. Well, <laughs> there's a picture missing. Yes. Yes. Where's the picture? It's pretty to say. <laughs> Curtains. Books. I always knew you'd come back, Frida. I just didn't know when. Got here as soon as I could. Been waiting long. Well, wouldn't it have been nice to just say hello? Carolyn, the pressure's on. This is hardly the time for niceties. But Richard, niceties are the things that separate us from the animals. The contractor says he won't wait any longer. The lumber company's gonna stop delivering unless we pay those outstanding charges. And you don't have any money. And the campaign took up every penny of man. I had to borrow from the building fund. You saw that. You know me. I'm no thief. Oh. My opponent had all that white money, and naturally I had to pay up front. You know, Richard, <laughs> it does seem that money dominates our conversations of late. There's lots of things I'd rather talk to you about, but time's getting away from us. The deacon's board will be asking questions soon. I better get back. Richard, Richard, do you realize the position you put me in? I mean, my name is on that withdrawal slip, too. I know, but if I we replace the funds, what difference would it make? But you said, you said you could raise the money yourself. You said as soon as the campaign was over, you would replace it. Half the people who promised contributions didn't come through. I, I just don't know who to turn to. Well, you're gonna have to ask your wife about it. She has the money, you have to ask her. How would you take that? I borrow money from her, then ask for a divorce.